What's up guys, Pocket Tank here, and I am partially back. Sorry for <laughs> the MIA that I've been for the several months, a uh, month or two, give or take. I believe my last video was last year, but um, yeah, here we are today. I've uh, been really busy with work, been really busy with the baby growing up, so... Uh, just really haven't found the time to sit down and you know calmly and do a video and just relax You know my, my ship for, for work has been crazy. So I've been um, I've been sleeping a lot relaxing as far as you know trying to recuperate from the previous days previous day work So most of you guys know my title of job. So I'm not really gonna get into all that just kind of want to do a uh just a video here kind of catch up with you guys i know a lot of you, a lot of you guys have uh, been we've been talking on instagram and stuff um i'll go ahead and leave my instagram for those that uh are tuning in for the first time on this video um but yeah i got some new uh decals as you guys can see the uh the new ones from uh, sticker meal so if you guys are interested in any of these just uh go ahead and send me an email i'll go ahead and leave my email and the link uh i mean the link in the description below and yeah um so what i have here and i haven't uh showed it on youtube you guys have probably seen it on my instagram feed is my crk umnamzan and the tento If you guys can see here, I have carried it. You guys can probably see some wear around. Okay, so. Anyways, yeah, this is, uh, I just have to say, probably the one that I've been carrying the most. And not disappointed whatsoever. Um, so, I really want to get into a review here, guys. Because there's so many videos on uh, the Umnons on out there on youtube but um just want to go ahead and uh give you guys my two cents uh, which probably doesn't matter but give and take all the uh opinions that are out there um but fit and finish is holding up very well on this one as you guys can tell i've had this i'd say since the beginning of the year actually i received this from gp knives as you guys can see it is a left hand carry because I am left handed. Um, so that's that. Lock is still, I'd say, at 55, if not 60%, which is okay with me. No issues there. Very, very easy to operate and close the blade. Um, but yeah, fit and finish is outstanding. I love the. Kind of battle worn uh, look to it that it has. Um, I like the milling that they did here. Uh, I have medium sized hands, so as far as grip goes, okay. I really don't have any hot spots um, that I can uh, that I can point out for you guys. But that's not to say that your hands will will have a hot spot. I mean, I'd, I'd like to. You know, pass this around probably to everybody so they can see if this is a, a knife that they, they're willing to uh, put in their collection or carry or buy or gift for somebody. But that's not the case, all right? Um, I have this assembled. This I took out the lanyard. It did, it did come with the lanyard when I received it, but I, got, I went ahead and took it out. Um, I know uh, people just usually cut the uh, lanyard uh, and leave the the uh what is it the spacer there that comes with the lanyard i just took the whole thing out um sorry about that guys but if you guys know any other aftermarket companies that fill in that gap right there let me know besides the uh, crk one um, i know they they have one i think i saw on instagram with the back spacer i think it has a pommel or something i wasn't really digging it but but yeah, so I went ahead and installed an aftermarket uh, millet pocket clip there. 
There was nothing wrong with the uh, standard one that it comes with. I just preferred this one. Um, it was more aesthetically uh, pleasing and I have no issues with it. Um, so that's that. It's just personal preference. Like I said, nothing wrong with, with the one it came with. Um, and glass breaker there. I have not used this. Um, haven't found a need to use it. So, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, construction on this one, like I said, uh, very well, very, 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 very well made. Uh, tight tolerances, kind of reminds me of a 1911. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, then you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, somebody that can also praise this knife as high as I am right now. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check them out too. Uh, Super Steel Steve. Uh, leave on his Instagram. He goes by uh, Chef Kalari. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, man. But, um, but yeah, guys. Um, the O-rings. Jeez, I keep hitting the camera. The O-rings, they have been good. I have not had any issues with them. They have not broken on me or anything like that. So that's good. Um, I have, obviously, like I told you, disassembled the knife. Uh, I think twice already. Just to kind of clean it up. Um, kind of nitpicky with that, but not too bad, not too bad, not too bad for the Umna. Um I haven't really beat it, beat it, beat it. I mean, I'm not really the uh, baton kind of guy in a way. I'll leave that for the uh, other guys on YouTube that do the, um, you know, those steel test and performance and all that i'm usually i'm just your usual you know everyday carry guy so um but i also like a nice knife a nice knife and <laughs> i can really appreciate you know the craftsmanship on uh the crk so that's just uh my two cents my two cents on the uh, umnam um i believe what's his name ah man i forgot his name uh can't think about it on top of my head but uh he, he comes out with videos here and there oh nero knives ah pff. yeah nero knives check him out as well uh he goes in depth with the uh with the crk i'm not too sure if it was the umnum zam or the sabenza but he kind of takes it down and you know gives the anatomy and everything of the knife uh and yeah he he goes over it very well so uh what else? What else? What else, guys? Not, not much. I just want to go out and put out a video, man. Honestly, it just been rambling that I was going to do. I've been putting off on it. I've been slacking. I know, I know, I know, I know. But, um, check this one out. I know this is not part of the video, but look at that. Cold Seer Airlight. Look at these mods, man. Crazy, right? BJ over at Hilltop and Knives, he went ahead and did, the, uh, did this work. But anyway, that's for another video, if I get to it. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and see that, just let me know. Leave it down in the comment section. If you guys have any questions for me, uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Just glad, you know, I got to put out a video for you guys. So, yeah, guys, that's the uh, CRK Chris Reed Knives. Um, I'm done. Centering perfect. Man, the tolerances on this is stupid. Buttery smooth too. I mean the hydraulic feel. Can't beat that. Get what you pay for, honestly. And that detent. Ah. Anyways, just rambling there a little bit. All right, guys. Well, I will see you on the next one, and it's uh, good chatting with you guys. You guys take care. Oh, and also, um, with this whole uh, thing going on, just want to wish everybody blessings and for you and your family. Um, 
just I know this uh, knife community, everybody reaches out to everyone. If it's not on YouTube, it's on Instagram. So just want to thank everybody also for reaching out to me and uh, checking up on me and stuff. So um, you guys just hang in there. We're going to overcome this. Um, and I have faith in the Lord that uh, that we're going to oversee this and we're going to come out stronger than ever before as a, as a family, as friends. You know, as as everything in a whole. So, um, you guys take care out there. You guys uh, stay safe. You guys look out for each other. You guys stay in contact with each other. Um, and and we'll get through this. And let's hope Blade Show does not get canceled, which I most likely think it will be. But I mean, it is what it is. Just to keep each other safe. So. Uh, Yep, that's all I got for you guys today. You guys take care now, and I will see you guys on the next one. God bless. Bye.